So go to the oscillator tab and this will uh, tweak the settings for all these three oscillators of which we only have the first one turned on. And we want it to uh, restart via gate. Now what does that mean? It's actually uh, pretty easy. Uh, when the sound is done playing we want it to start at the same position as the wavetable is set now or somewhere else. So we're going to restart it and uh, put it uh, just about past the 180 so it's basically seeing sound as all around you and we want it to be sort of right in front of us alright and then the second one so now when I play it every time I start playing it it starts the same it sounds the same actually we don't even need to do oscillator 2 because it's not on but oscillator 1 is restarting right about there alright so there's that and then we go to our voicing now what are voices basically this oscillator is producing one sound and the more sounds we wanted to produce the fuller it sounds so we're gonna set this um, to about five sounds at the same time now, me now measure the difference that you hear right now it sounds a lot fuller already now instead of polyphony sounds we wanted them to be monophonic and we want to set the uh, trigger to a uh, legato thriller which I'll explain sometime later. Alright, so that's the sound that we want to make. Um, let's see what else we can tweak. Uh, let's go to our routing. That looks fine. This is basically, do we want it to go filter 1 or do we want filter 1 to start somewhere else? Here's where you can change all the routing. Here's the sound coming from the oscillators and we can tweak where we want it to go. Alright, so uh, now that our sub bass is sounding pretty good we're gonna pump up some of the bass even more so go to the equalizer and equalizer is basically our frequency spectrum which we we have um, explained earlier but then in knobs so the more low end we give it the more there's bass I have to tweak the master down a little bit because it's too punchy at the start right there we don't want it to clip so this would be perfect excellent now there's a couple other things that we can do like inserts and feedback but I think this uh, sub bass sounds pretty fine already um, so we're gonna use it and make a little bit of a MIDI clip here double click it and we're gonna start with a E which is the note we've already been playing here. I'm gonna drag that all the way out to uh, the second measure. Actually I'm not gonna like that. How about half of it? And then once it starts over we're gonna go to the A. And we're gonna restart that again. So duplicate and I didn't really select that right so let's move this over and let's see what this sounds like perfect alright let's make a little bit more of a melody out of this alright excellent let's see what this sounds like when I loop it excellent so now when you play the whole track you will hear that the beginning is sort of soft and then by the time the uh, bass kicks in it really punches you in the face uh, because now there is a sub bass alright so that's sub basses let's move on